Hi, it's Pastor Doug, and welcome to Rock Irvine's Dailies. Today is Friday, and we are um, continuing on miracles and the theme of miracles, and, and especially thinking about miracles in, in, in the book of Acts and, and miracles in your own life, and just uh, talking to God and, and thinking about the things that He's done and so that we don't miss them, that we don't miss the miracles that has happened in our life and uh, the life that God has given us through salvation and um, if you're watching this and you haven't given your life to Christ, um, uh, the miracle that will happen in your life if you accept Him as your Savior, because God has done a great work in all of us, and He, he refuses to uh, leave us just the way we are. He, he wants to forgive us, He wants to love us, and we're a new creation. And uh, because of that, we've got a lot to celebrate um, today, what we, I want you to do is read Acts chapter 11, 1 through 18. Uh, specifically, 18, uh, verse 18 is really what I want you guys to get. Because what happened in Acts 11 is what starts in Acts 10. And uh, a really cool story that Peter has about understanding that God wants to love and forgive and bring into his family the Gentiles. And this was pretty foreign to Peter since he was a Jew. And uh, the, the Jews in Israel uh, didn't care for the Gentiles. They were looked at like basically slaves. And yet God is changing those things. And so Paul or Peter uh, follows what God has uh, asked him to do. And uh, he's, uh, a man named Cornelius sins for Peter because it's what God told him to do. Peter comes and, and, and shares the faith. And, and they're forgiven, and they accept Christ, and the Holy Spirit's there, and they're baptized. But in chapter 11, uh, when the other Christians heard about this, they were upset because, they, again, they were stuck in the same mindset that, that, that it wasn't any good to, to even uh, hang out or be around the Gentiles. And the cool part of the testimony of what Peter shares is verse 18. When he hears, when they heard about what, uh, when they heard all this, they stopped ejecting and began praising God. They said, we can see that God has also given the Gentiles the privilege of repenting for their sins and receiving eternal life. And that's what I want to focus on, is that that was a miracle. It's a miracle what Jesus did through them because they never thought that that was going to be possible. And sometimes we never thought that God can use us, but he can. And so today what I want you guys to do is read Acts chapter 11, 1 through 18, and, and as we've been talking about your testimonies, today what I want you to actually journal on and, and, and thinking about your testimony is we've already talked about uh, what your life was like without God. Uh, yesterday we talked about um, how did God actually change your life and, and the story that uh, how God got you and into his family. And then today I want you to think about and journal about is what is God doing now that you're a believer? Uh, how is your life better? Are you living life to the fullest? We have a clear conscience now. Uh, we have forgiveness now. Share that story. And what does God want you to do? Maybe you have a heart for a certain people or you have a heart to serve in a certain way um, or, or you're just changed. Uh, think about those things. And I want you to pray today um, that you don't miss them. You know, ask God, what are those things that you want me to do? I'm different now today, and here's how. But what do you want to do in my life because of the miracle of my salvation? Thanks. Uh, I hope you enjoy reading that passage and thinking about those things and, and, and writing on paper um, the miracle that your life is in Christ.